Hello, and welcome to the software side of our backup server build. Uh, since last time I got the extra janky Molex splitter installed, I got Proxmox up and running, and we're going to run through just a quick bit of setup with that before we get into putting Unraid on here. I did a couple very basic things. I set up storage for uh, VMs and so on. I set up the uh, 10 gig NIC. Uh, I have it currently auto starting just the second one because that's the one that's plugged in. The plan is not to bridge this. The plan is to pass this straight through to the VM. Uh, and we'll do the same thing with the the, the 6 port HPA that's running our array. Uh, but first, we need to get Unraid. To do that, we go to unraid.net, get started. For now, we'll just do the free trial. I'll eventually upgrade this to basic. Um, here we go. There is a Windows down or a download for Windows. Snag that, and that'll help us build our USB stick that you uh, that Unraid will um, will boot from, and we'll forward that to the VM in Proxmox as well. Once you've downloaded the Unraid installer, it's just a couple quick menu options. Uh, we're going to want the stable version. We'll pick the latest and greatest, and we'll give it a name. I'm going to call this thing the Expanse. We'll boot in UEFI mode. Uh, I'll stick to DHCP. You can go static IP. I'm going to configure this in, uh, in UniFi. And then we'll pick our 16 gig, or I guess 14.9 gig uh, USB, USB stick. Here we go. Much, much, much later. Once this is all done, we just close this, make sure it's safe to eject the USB stick, and then plug that into our Proxmox or directly on RAID machine, whichever. Alright, here we are back in Proxmox. We've plugged in our USB stick, and now we need to create a new VM to run the thing. Um, fair warning, I haven't done this before. I mean, I've done it before, but not for this one. So we'll see how this goes. We're going to create a VM. We're going to create it on Proxmox 2 as a node. The ID is fairly irrelevant. The name for this thing is going to be Expanse. The resource pool is going to be the default. For now, we don't want to start this at boot. We'll fix it later. The OS for now is going to be don't use media, but it is a flavor of Linux. Uh, system graphics card will be default. That's fine. Machine default is fine. For BIOS, we want to make sure we switch to UEFI if that's how you built your um, Unrate stick. If not, then stick to CBIOS. Uh, and last but not least, we can leave that the way it is. Oh, EFI storage. We need to add a disk that will go, in our case, into our data data drive. Uh, onward to disks. We actually don't need any. So I think we can ditch this and it'll let us keep going. So far, so good. Uh, this thing is... 8 cores. Um, for now, we'll pass through 6 cores and call it good. We can always change this later. But Unraid, as a rule, is not super memory intensive. Uh, for RAM... What is it? 8192 for 8 gigs. That should do it. Network, for now, we'll pass through this bridge, and that's fine. We'll change this in a minute, too. That should do it. We don't want it to start. Super important. If this is checked, make sure you uncheck it. And finish. Give it just a minute to make our VM. There it is. And now, in hardware, we have to set a handful of pass-throughs. Uh, let's start with USB devices. 
uh, USB port. We want to make sure we pass through SanDisk the cruiser. Yes. We also want to make sure we pass through a PCI device. Rut row. Raw device, maybe. And we'd have to find. Hey, there it is. Let's pass through for starters the network card. That wasn't what I came for. I came for the HBA. But we'll do this first. And then we need to go find the HBA. Okay, next we need to change the boot order, which we do. Where is that? That's in the options, boot order. And we want to make sure that this USB device is at the top so that we boot from there. We don't want to boot from CD. We don't really want to use this at all. We want that. So this is the, the bridge network adapter. We don't want that one. Uh, and this is the pass-through network adapter. We don't want to boot from that either. So turn that off. I'm going to click start on this. We'll switch windows and go from there. There we go. Uh, and then we just want to boot into Unraid. And there it goes. This will take a moment. Here we are in the Unraid UI. Um, we'll pick a quick and dirty root password. That isn't anywhere near secure enough, but we'll change that later. Onward. Here we are on the new array page. Uh, before we go and assign disks here, we want to make sure that we format the disks we're going to add, especially in my case, since they're coming from an old array. If I skip this step, I'll end up with a bunch of phantom data from their previous use. To do that, we head over here into apps, I believe, install the community applications plugin, done. Yes, I understand. Yes, I still understand. And then we want to search for unassigned devices. We'll actually autofill. And we, I think, want all of these. I'm going to take unassigned devices. Yes. I want plus in case I have a reason to go with different file formats or disk formats. Yes. And then we also want pre-clear so that we can easily clear disks ahead, ahead of assigning them. Done. Once everything is installed, we'll go back to main and we should see the new unassigned devices section. Uh, in here, we need to go make one change. We need to enable destructive mode. Set that to enabled, hit apply, hit done. Back to main. And now, when we get here, we should have the option to clear disks. We just do that for each one. Once we've cleared them all, we need to format them all. I'll go with XFS. It's been working for me. It's what's been running on my Unraid, my other Unraid array for a couple of years now. I'm happy with it. And that's the last one all done. Now all that's left to do is to plug these into the array. We'll do one for parity and four for data. All done. And we're ready to start this array. Here we go. Once this fires up, there's one more plugin I want to put on here. There's one for uh, fixed common problems. That's just handy to have. It does a bunch of scanning. Head back over to plugins. No, sorry, to apps. 
and we are going to look for six common problems. Do that, and maybe the other nice to have is GUI search. That's it. We have an array up and running uh, for tonight. We're done. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.